Hey, welcome back to the Academic Society. It's Toy in here, and today we're talking about how to use Trello in grad school. So if you're interested in using a productivity tool and an organization tool that will help you stay productive and organized and on task in grad school, keep watching this video. Hey, I'm Toyin. I recently got my PhD in math. I got my dream job as a lecturer and I also create these videos for grad students to help them be productive and organized and just join a community in grad school. So if you're interested in joining our community, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. All right, so today we are talking about Trello, which is like my holy grail of organization and systemizing my whole life. I love Trello so much. And my love affair with Trello began, I would say maybe a couple years ago, which was after I finished grad school. And I used it to help organize my life as an academic. And when I figured out how to do that, I realized, oh my goodness, this would be so helpful for grad students. I wish I had known about Trello when I was a grad student. Oh my goodness. So I am sharing with you today exactly how I use Trello, how I make it work for me, and how it is even better than a planner because it lasts forever, not just for a year or 18 months. You can customize it and it syncs with your phone too. So it's so awesome that I shared it with my Facebook group, um, the Academic Society for Grad Students, and they are loving it. You can check out this example from one of the grad students in my group. So now let me walk you through how I use my Trello board. This is the Trello board that I'm talking about. So it has my productive weekly schedule. So basically what I wrote in here are my weekly tasks of things that I plan to get done during my productivity chunks. So things like record YouTube videos, go live in my Facebook group, write the solutions to the worksheets for my classes, write notes for my classes, create reading assignments, all the kind of things that I do, meetings, grades, all those things that I could possibly do in a week. And then I have these um, cards. These are called cards um, for the days of the week. So basically something that see, I teach on Tuesday and Thursday. So I would probably maybe write my notes on Monday. So I just drag it over and say, I'm going to write my notes on Monday and Wednesday. So I want to put it on Wednesday too. So I'm just going to hit copy. And then I can like put it on Wednesday's list. Yeah. All right. So Monday and Wednesday, I'm doing that. And I put it under this ongoing tab because these are things that I do every single week. Maybe there's something that I don't do every single week, like maybe have this meeting. Maybe I'll throw it above an ongoing task things like that. And so the nice thing about Trello is if you, I didn't get this done on Monday, I can just drag it over here to Tuesday. Now you don't want to be dragging all through the week. You want to actually get things done. And then when you finish a task, you hit, um, you can archive it or delete it or whatever, and it's gone. All right, so yeah, that's Trello. And basically you can steal this. So um, I'm gonna give you the link. And when you open the link, this will pop up. You may have to create an account in Trello. It's completely free. But what you need to do so you don't edit my um, one is um, here, go to more in the menu and then click copy board. And it'll make a copy for you that you can edit and just make sure you edit the copy. All right, so I've created all kinds of Trello boards for graduate students to help you with your homework workflow, research workflow, keeping track of your degree, as well as your administrative documents. So if you're interested in copying all of the boards that I just mentioned, plus the one I share with you today, I've created a resource. It's called the Grad School Toolkit. It is free and it's just for you. It's all of my boards, plus like 30 minutes of like tutorials on how to use um, Trello for grad school. So I will put the link for that in the description of this video. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you love Trello or if you haven't heard of it. And if you're planning on using Trello for this semester, let me know in the comments. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I create new videos on Sundays and Wednesdays and sometimes some extras as well. All right, and if you know any grad students who would be interested in learning about Trello, go ahead and share this video with them. I will talk to you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Mm -hmm.